How do you prepare for this series? Did you watch like every game, all the four regular seasons? Like, how did you prepare to, to go up against them? Well, I mean, I watched the last two games we played, the full games we played them. I watched my defense on Paul. I watched Chiefs defense on Paul. I watched Paul against other guys around the league. I watched Russ against other guys around the league. So it's, it's just more of just finding things that work and just trying to execute that. Anything stick out from that film along the way? Uh, I mean, I just, he's the type of guy who, he's, he's a rhythm guy, I think. I mean, he likes to be comfortable. He likes to play with the ball and dance a little bit, get to his spots and just rise up. So just, be, like I said, being physical with him, I think that's one thing that disrupts him a little bit. You know, make, gets him a little uncomfortable and for it makes him do things that he doesn't necessarily want to do. Um, and just making him try to get to the basket and, and finish over our big guys. Have, have you felt like there have been times this season where you've just kind of been out there, like just kind of floating around a little bit? Um, and because I, I didn't, haven't really noticed that this much this year, but I know that you've maybe talked about that at other times. Um, maybe not knowing kind of what you're out there doing. Not, not from I mean, a yeah, in, in, in the past for sure, but um, I mean, I, I think I've been trying to just do a, a better job of just, like I said, like, like I said, just just now, just being felt out there, and you know, it, on any given night, that could be anything. It could be rebounding, it could be blocking shots, it could be just running the floor hard, you know. So I just try to make 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 an impact on the game and, and, and try to help my team win. Because it has not, I've never felt that way like in this series so far. Like it seems like when you're out there, you can tell you're out there. And I, I mean, I know that's what you're, what you're saying, basically. Right. Like, it, it does seem like that it almost looks a little different. Like, it, it feels like there's, there's almost like a concerted effort to be present and, and as you may, have your impact felt, have people know you're out there. And that's not really a question. I'm just trying to explain why I was asking. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Need to do my job then, so far, at least. Oh, you mentioned physical with Paul George, but how important do you think it is to, to get on him early and make sure he doesn't get going? Uh, I mean, it's big time. I mean, like like I said, he's kind of a guy, like once he gets into a rhythm, it's, it's going to be hard to stop him. So we got to set the tone early and, you know, and, and I think we've done a good job. Um, when Chief gets on him, I think he does a good job. Evan and Rodney as well. It's, it's, everybody plays him a little differently. So it's kind of hard for him to get consistency throughout the game. And that, that's, that's huge for a guy like him who who once he gets going, it's hard to stop him. What do you expect from the Thunder tomorrow night? Kind of they're in the hole, it's an emergency for them. Um, I expect them to come out and to play super hard and to, you know, just, we we expect them to come out and are very aggressive on both ends of the floor and, and give, give us their best shot from the jump. And we just gotta be able to withstand that, weather that storm and, and, and punch them right back. But we know we know they're gonna come out hard. We know they're gonna come out and try to, to give us their best shot early in the game. Or at some point in the game, we know they're gonna go on the run and things are gonna get, the crowd's gonna get crazy. But we just gotta be able to be ready for that and weather that storm. Well, um, guys like Damian Lillard and, and Russell Westbrook, they're used to seeing big long wings like yourself on them you know, every game. But you know, in this series, Paul's been more of a guy that's been on you or Al. Like, how does that change things for guards like that when they are able to get a, a matchup against a guy that's similar to their size, that doesn't have that length and that size on it? Um, you know, I think length length can disrupt anybody. You know, so I don't think it's too different from Damon CJ. But I think they've done a good job this this series so far, of just being able to find space and you know create space, whether that be coming out the pick and roll or one on one with the guy. And, and, I'm, and Paul's been matched up with CJ a bunch this series as well. And even even then, he's still able to create space and find find his opportunities to be aggressive. But, you know, just just being able to, to you know, we're in the setting good screens and Meyer setting good screens, just come off those screen and rolls and not have four arms around them. And they can see what's going on and create and, and make things happen like that. I mean, it's just big time for our team. You said weathering the storm. What did you think of the storm last night? Uh, I, I was so confused in my room because <laughs> <laughs> I had the the shades closed and I just kept hearing like just sounds outside my window. So I was I didn't want to look. I'm thinking somebody hitting the hitting the window or rocks or something like that. And I look outside and it's just pouring rain and I was like, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> it was crazy and that lightning too. Yeah, because it was nice when we got in, so it caught me off guard a little bit. <laughs>